uh, over to the housing call. Um, do you take a bigger position uh, on ETFs or individual stocks when you want to play this housing long call, for example, ITB versus toll? Uh, always bigger in an ETF than in a SOC. Uh, so again, when I think about uh, people like this stuff, so I'll just do it uh, to try to help you a little bit. So when I think about um, asset allocation, I was doing this for a client the other day. He was asking me how to uh, size a portfolio. I'm like, of course, I, don't, I can't tell you how to do that specifically until, me, until you tell me what you're trying to achieve here. But what I will tell you is what I do with my own money. Okay. Okay. So the way that I think about my own money in terms of um, this should not be read because this is a this is a constructive exercise in my life. So maybe I should uh, make this a different color. All right. So if I have FX, for example, and then I have fixed income, and I have equities, and I have com commodities, just at the headline level. So what is my max position? What is your max position rather that you're going to have? All right. So for me, FX is 12% for fixed income by position, 10% equities, 6% commodities, 4%. Beta adjusted. If you don't know what that is, look it up. Okay. So, and again, the way that I get bigger in fixed income is that I just add more positions. So I could have a 40% position in fixed income if I have TLT, SHY, EDV, and zeros. If I have all those in there, now I got a 40% position, max position in treasuries. And if I have the dollar in there at 12, then I, oh, now I got 52% of my capital. Now I add ITB, 6%, because that's a, as you point out, that's, a, that's an ETF. Whereas a stock would fit underneath this, like probably like a 2 to 3% position. Uh, if I had a lot of conviction in, in a stock and just a long short portfolio, the weights would be different. Okay, so you have to determine what you are trying to achieve. All right, I know somebody's probably never told you that before. And moreover, people probably told you that some donkey broker is the one that should do this for you, and both things are unacceptable. You need to take responsibility, and you need to make some decisions. You have to decide, what is my max position? Same thing on the short side. We have people that struggle with any position I get wrong because pretty much they're inexperienced, right? Like, it's okay. It's okay for me to say that. It's true. You don't know how to do this like I do. So I would never take like a 12% short position in something like Splunk or anything for that matter. It'd be a 1%, 2 or 3% position. And if the macro conditions were saying we're going higher, I'd definitely take that position down. Okay, so I, yeah, and I'd trade around it. So again, those are stocks that's different than an asset allocation. So your asset allocation, this is, this is what my 401k, my RAs, my long-only accounts look like. So again, uh, ETS versus stocks. There are no single stocks in my retirement account. Want more Hedgeye? Subscribe to Hedgeye Risk Manager, the holy grail of risk management investing tools. This deluxe suite of investing products includes ETF Pro, Investing Ideas, Market Edges, The Macro Show, Early Look, Risk Ranges, Real-Time Alerts, Plus, Macro Select, and our Quarterly Investment Outlook. Try Hedgeye Risk Manager today. Now for the low price of $24.99 a year.